Debbie Jans Brona Tumble T live on the South Side now with our top story. Brona. Good evening, Ray and Jackie. Still a lot of confusion about how all of this unfolded today, but we do know at least three people were hit by those bullets. We're told a 16-year-old was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center in critical condition. Two 19-year-olds were also taken to Christ Hospital and are said to be in fair condition. And there was a fourth person, a 44-year-old woman, who wasn't hit by those bullets, but she did fall during all of this commotion, and she was transported to Trinity where she's said to be in good condition. All of this happening, though, in the middle of a very busy Sunday afternoon. The whole 95th station is blocked off with tape and a line, so I can't even get through the station to access my other bus, so I do some more walking. That's Donovan Barnes, who showed up here at the red line by 95th and State to get a bus earlier, only to find they weren't running. Now, witnesses tell us two men were seemingly arguing and started shooting at each other inside the terminal before that argument spilled outside. We're told a third man was involved in the argument but didn't have a gun. Savion Lesser was out here waiting for a bus when he says he watched those bullets start flying chaos ensued he watched that woman fall to the ground he thought she'd been shot he says he wanted to help her but felt he needed to get to safety running screaming and everything running everywhere now, I, I know for a fact one lady got hit and she and she hit the floor instantly but i i, I couldn't do nothing about it was, and i'm not strong i'm not superman i can't stop bullets so i protect myself you don't want to protect her but i protect myself first Again, CFD confirming for us a short time ago that the woman was not shot, but she did get hurt in all of that commotion. Uh, it's not clear whether any of the three teenagers transported to the hospital were innocent bystanders as well, or if they were involved in that alleged argument. We do know that the train service has resumed and is back to normal. We're still waiting for an update from CTA on whether the buses are back on track. Well, I have 95th and State, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.